From the beginning, we were wrong. And only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. We lived in harmony among the Fae, in a world awakened to new magic. Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken. A force powerful enough to twist even the eternal and immutable faith of <laughs> Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fae were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary. He had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. Gadflo and his followers, the Tuatha De Aon, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadflo's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. Oh, yes. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fae are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Such two as are fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again, for the Fae do not know death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? For ten years the war raged. For ten years the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written. At least, that is what we believed. Until you died. This one is that. Alpha, or I could even be a Jotun. Always a surprise, eh, Garan? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is. Dead's dead. And be thankful for that. All we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. He's a Dockelfar. <laughs> no surprise there seen a lot of them, though not usually in this good a shape. All right then, make sure it goes into the report. You know he'll want all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name him, I think we're done. Put him with the others. Well, that's it for you then. Better luck next time.
Run! Scatter, children of dust! Scatter before the might of the Tuatha! Stay away! No child of dust shall escape. Help! Anybody! Please help me! Please! More mortal scum? No matter. You'll all die. Come along. Wait. I've seen you before. On the slab. You. You were dead. It worked. By the tome, it worked. You're alive. Uh, well, uh, you died. I don't know how or even where. But your body was remade in the Well of Souls, and somehow, it worked. The Well restored your soul to your body, and it worked. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. Professor Formerus Hughes, the Well of Souls is his life's work. The Tuatha are coming into the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to Hughes. Now, let's get going! The Well of Souls is just ahead. You'll see. And... and... it works! It restored you to life! There will be plenty of time to explain later. We've got to get going. I wish I could tell you more. You showed no signs of life when we removed your new body from the well's waters. We just put it in the furnace room with the others. We would have never done that if we knew. 
Oh my. You don't know? Uh, perhaps the process damaged your memory. They are the Tuatha the enemy of all the young races. We've never seen them this far inland. Not even during the invasion. I, I don't know why they're here. He'll be in his study on the ground floor of the tower. At least, I hope he's there. And safe. Let me get this door, and we can be on our way. Right this way. Uh, you go first. Greatest invention, the well of souls. Imagine an end to war, an end to death. If you can find anything useful.
Grab a shield. There must be one nearby. Move! Move! Wait! Do you hear something? Just that sword. That one had a bow. Get it! Archers up ahead. Best shoot them before they see us. are deadly if you catch an enemy unaware. Their speed more than makes up for their size.
on them with your daggers. You should be able to finish them quickly and quietly. Blossoms only respond in the presence of magic. Perhaps there is more to you than it seems.
They've completely covered the tunnel. Maybe you can use that staff to burn a path through. Not more spiders. Burn them. Burn them. That's what I intend to find out. He came out of the well. What? Then he'd better get inside to see the old man. Quick, before those Quatha make another push. This is where we part ways. But take whatever you want from this armory. We might have a few things that would fit you. Just make sure you get to choose. We can hold off the Tawatha here. Directly ahead, in his study. Just keep going past the top of the well. He needs to see you. Right now, you're the most valuable thing in his world. I'll see you on the outside, if fate wills it. Go on. There isn't time to waste. I'll see you on the outside, if fate wills it. <gasps> Ah, plate armor. Nothing protects quite like layers of impervious metal. <laughs> Leather armor is thin, but will give you the speed to reach an enemy's boat. Simple cloth frees your body and mind. That's why mages prefer it.
You've made it! And look at you! Even with all you've been through, the Tuatha, your return from the dead... Please forgive me, you must be terribly confused by all of this. I am Fomorous Hughes, and this is my laboratory at Alastar. Everything you see here is dedicated to one thing, the Well of Souls, the pursuit of immortality. And you, you're my first success. If we only had the time, there's so much we might learn from one another. It's been my life's work. Decades of research with a singular goal, ending death itself. And now, you're the only proof that it's a success. But why did it work on you and no one else? What makes you different from the others? There are so many questions to ask, and if we're to get any answers, we've got to get you someplace safe. I wish I could tell you more, but your death is a mystery to me as well. It seems that your memory died with your body. You see, the well is designed to capture the soul of someone recently deceased, recreating their physical form within its waters. Simple, really. Your rebirth is the first we might truly call a success. There have been others, but the results weren't quite right. You don't know. They're called the Tuatha. They were once fey folk of the Winter Court, but they've been twisted by their Lord Gadflo. But how could they have found us out here? We're miles away from the front lines. The war has never touched Dalantarth. And why attack the well? The Tuatha are a radical splinter of the Fae. Insane, bloodthirsty, and immortal. Even when they die, their essence returns home to be reborn later. They hate mortals like you and me, and want us wiped off the face of Amalur. I can only imagine how much they hate the idea of mortals being reborn. Too much to explain right now. The Tuatha have come to stop my work, but I don't believe they know about you. Not yet. What's important is getting you out of here safely. You're the only proof of what we've achieved here. I may not be able to save the well, but I can ensure that its only success is safe. We're in the Feylands, miles away from the front lines. I thought we were safe enough from the war, but it seems some of the Tuatha found their way here anyway. Of course you do. Please, though, we must hurry. Good, good. We can't waste time. Absolutely not. I've got my notes, but it's most important that you stay safe. It's just that you... you're... Wait, where are you going? Fascinating. Simply astounding. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow... Uh, yes, as I was saying, I'm not sure what... <clears throat> Perhaps I should go see. Sir! Sir! Mr. Hughes! The Tawatha have reached the lab! That inside the... Ah! <laughs> No! We've got to get you out of here now! Quickly! Follow the path to the town of Warheart. Find Agath. He's a friend, and he may be able to help. No matter what else, stay alive! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
a brute. Tear this tower apart.
I saw you fighting there. We could have used more of you. Did they really have a troll? I don't know how the Twather found us, but if they had a troll, it couldn't have been an accident. Fate was kind to collapse that doorway behind you, or they would have chased us into the glade. We started building here when they found Prismere in the mines nearby. Never thought we'd see Twatha this far out west, though. The well was incredible, but it took armloads of Prismere crystals to keep the thing active. That's why we built it so close to the Stone Candle mines. They even put in a few tunnels to deliver the crystals directly into the well. I told them it wasn't safe. Looks like I was right. Again. Fate weavers? Ah, charlatans. You swears by them. But I'll be damned if I trust my future to some cards. They're technically a type of wild fae. Related to the fae of the summer and winter courts, actually. Dangerous enough in the wild. The Twatha also use them in their army. I never did trust Fae to begin with, but well, those twelfth are the worst sort. They waged some sort of holy war against humans and Alpha for years now. But the front's all the way out east. What are they doing out here? How did they know about this place? Hughes ran off, you say? I wouldn't worry too much. The old man's tougher than he looks, and he's always got a plan. Good luck out there. Another survivor? But I've never seen you in the tower. Were you one of the professor's assistants in the downstairs projects? Did he escape with you? That sounds like him. Professor Hughes was very thoughtful. I mean, he is. He is very thoughtful. I'm sure he found a way to get out. He must have! Alistar is remote enough that we don't get a lot of visitors. And with our research, fewer visitors means fewer questions. Brilliant idea, the Well of Souls. Plucks dead people out of the ether, rebuilds their body, and brings them back to life. At least that's what it was supposed to do. Guess we'll never know if it worked now. Oh, you mean Agarth? He visits Hughes every once in a while. I never could figure out why they got along. He's friendly enough, if a bit odd. You should be able to find him in Gorhart, just down the road, past the ruins. You can't miss it. I just don't understand the two, Arthur. I mean, most fae aren't violent. The wild ones can be, but no more than any forest animal. But the two, Arthur, are some sort of cult among the winter fae. Before they invaded Erethel, no one could have imagined the fae ever marching to war. We all knew Formidus was a genius, but I'll admit, even I had my doubts about him being able to bring the dead back to life. Guess the Tuatha weren't very pleased that it worked. We should be safe here. At least, a little longer. Thank Matharu, another survivor. Are there any more? I suppose that's a little bit of kindness from fate. May those still trapped inside rest peacefully. This was supposed to be a nice isolated grove. So much for that. The well was a beautiful dream. An end to death, a cure to tragedy. It would have made war pointless. 
It could have saved the world. We should have known it was too good to exist. Now our friends have paid the price. You don't see many fate weavers nowadays, but they were very popular when I was a girl. My parents even hired one to advise them on raising my sister and me. But these days, you're lucky if you can find a single fate weaver in a big city. Most have been run out of town. Who knows why the Tuatha hate mortals? Who knows why the Fae do half the things they do? Fomoris Hughes was one of the greatest minds of our generation. The Well of Souls was a dream that was almost too good to come true. Stay safe. We'll be moving soon. I remember you. You're... You're the one? How did you come back? How did you find me here? When I saw you with Ensel in the well, I ran. But it wasn't because I was afraid. 
I was coming to report that Hughes' experiment had succeeded. The Well of Souls is bigger than just one gnome's pet project. My contact pays well for information about its progress. I just send reports to make some money on the side. But I don't know how the Tawatha found out. This has nothing to do with them. I never wanted anyone to get hurt. I promise you, if I knew who it was, I'd tell you. Sharing research is one thing, but academic sabotage is a crime. Thank you, thank you. Here, take this. It's the pay for my last report. I don't want anything to do with it. I'm going back home to Odessa.
You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agarth. Maybe you can help an old fate weaver, eh? Fate weavers look at the great tapestry of fate. The threads will tell us how a life will unfold. But knowing the future and being able to change it are two very different things. Did he? Poor old Fomerus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work, but Hughes' success would come on the day of his death. He took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. I suppose I could spare a little help, in memory of Hughes, or in celebration of his success. Whichever. You really don't know much, do you? A Fate Weaver taps into the threads of fate and channels that energy through a focus. My order prefers cards. The cards are unique to each Fate Weaver, since we all see the weave differently. You? You're the one? Then that means... It all makes sense now. The cards this morning. I drew the Grave Digger, the Running Man, and the Beast. Prepare yourself. They're coming. What are you? The threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? You just... Fate is the will of the gods. No mortal should be able to change it. How is that even possible? Come here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threads, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. It's a gift. Some people paint landscapes, other people write poetry, 
I peered into the weave of fate's tapestry and see people's deaths. That would be my guess. He was an academic, but he had a proper respect for fate's plan, unlike most gnomes. You're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. I'll be seeing your place in the pattern of destiny. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or, at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that much... Fate's weave is always hard to see. It's in motion, hard to make out, but undeniably there. Yours is just... missing. This doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. If this is true, and I'm not saying I believe it, then your path is yours to determine. I can see the threads around you, but they're shifting, changing so rapidly, I can't make sense of them. Normally the threads would guide my hand to the cards, and I'd use those cards to see your pattern in the weave. But it just didn't happen. They wouldn't focus. So either there's something wrong with me, and there isn't, or there's something very wrong with you. It could mean nothing. Or it could mean everything. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that. Or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings. But we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. Once I was Agarth the Unyielding, the Blade of Avgrum. I wrestled the Colossus Priestess and declined knighthood by the High King of the Fae. I was a hero of men, but that wasn't enough for me. I joined the Fate Weavers, hoping to find a way to conquer destiny itself. Turns out fate is the one thing I couldn't fight. You can find Arden's little cottage in the middle of Yovan. Had to move there when he got run out of town. He's a damned good fate weaver, but that doesn't make you very popular, especially not in dark days like these. We are all threads in the tapestry of fate, measured, woven, and cut according to a great plan. Fate weavers undertake the task of reading those threads. Our title always was a bitter lie, 
since we have no control over how that tapestry is woven. But you do. And when a fate weaver looks at your place in the weave, we see only the shapes of what you may choose to become. The Fate Weavers were once a great, unified order of sages from all the mortal races. We foretold the destinies of kings and gods. But that power takes a toll. Nobody likes bad news. And all the news in the world is getting worse. The order splintered long ago. Now the old traditions are all but lost. And all I foretell is the fate of my beer. And I see it being empty soon. The Tawatha aren't like any Fae I've ever known. They're cruel, bloodthirsty, and savage. Why, they're practically human. Hughes was always an odd one. Curious and determined as any of his kind, sure. He never shut up about his work. But he always knew what was important. He didn't worry about dying as long as he knew he'd get the well working. That's just it. I don't know if you've got one, but that's why we're going to see Arden. He lives in a little hut to the east in Yulven. I'll meet you there. What could this all mean? Still here, huh? Can't quite decide if you want to hear what the cards say, can you? What could this all mean? Of all the songs in halls of lore, there echoes none more grand than Olain's many feats of might, the pure and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden nut. She is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring, of day.
everyone just stand back. The warden can't work when you're crowding so close. Go back to your business. Go on. 